Have you ever done any sculpting, Larley? No, not that I can remember. Well, here's your chance, and instead of uh, buying clay, you're going to make your own out of flour. Neat. And you can shape it into all kinds of things and uh, let it dry and uh, end up with things like that. That's a turtle, right? <laughs> you mean you didn't recognize it? I thought it was pretty good myself. Uh, it doesn't look like a mouse or anything else. And in fact, uh, you're, I'll challenge you to do something better because by the time we finish today, you will have your own version of the clay and you can make whatever you think is good, okay? What you'll end up with is a white material like this, which you can put in the oven and dry or just okay. let sit. And in a day or two, it'll get nice and hard. And then you can paint it, cut it out and do all kinds of things, okay? Mm -hmm. So here's, here's the uh, ingredients. Okay, one and a half cups of flour, half cup of salt, half cup of water, and a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Okay, I'm all measured out for you. Okay. So here's the first one. What's that? It's one and a half cups of flour. Okay. Now the reason you're using flour, it has protein in it. And protein is a kind of um, material that makes plants nice and strong. In fact, makes you strong too. Huh. So that's why you're using flour. Okay. Then what's next? Half cup of salt. Yeah. That's probably in there to, to um, prevent molds from growing. Okay, so start okay. stirring that up. Next. There's a half cup of water. Okay. And? Then a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Right. Okay, now stir it up so that you get the consistency of sort of like bread dough. I don't know. Have you ever made bread? Uh, no. Well, if you ever see people when they do it, they can make it in a sort of a, a clay-like material, as a matter of mm -hmm. fact. It's lumpy. Yeah. Well, you'll smooth it out as you keep going. If you have an automatic um, mixer, you could probably use that. Because oh. it's very similar to, to bread dough. Here, can I do it for you for a minute? Sure. Now you can adjust it a little bit by adding a little more water or a little more flour. But here, take a handful and give it a squeeze. There you go. So you see, it's very much like modeling clay. It's, um, it feels gross. Gross? Yeah. But I thought it was kind of nice. Anyway, you're all set now. So why don't you take it home and you see what you can make out of dough clay, all right? Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And good luck. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Well, I can tell from the shape and the color that that's a heart, right? right. But if you don't mind uh, putting down the brush, I would right. like some interpretation of some of this other stuff. What's that? That's a French horn. Yeah. And that's a flute. A flute? Has a big bump there. Okay. Yeah. And this is a little spinner. What do you mean, spinner? Well. Oh, I see. One, two, three, four. You have numbers down there, and these little right. things stick up, and they make a click when that goes by. Mm. Oh, I see. This is a little monster. Oh, that's very good monster. <laughs> and then those are dice. Yeah. And you made uh, some nasty remarks about my uh, turtle yeah. yesterday when you were here. Well, I guess it doesn't look too bad after doesn't... all. <laughs> well, after all, you've only had this for one day, and you, so yeah. you have a chance to practice. And then you're gonna, you can bake this if you want to, or just let it sit out. And if you bake it, don't bake it in this, you know, because it, mm -hmm. it's, uh, you need to have something that will withstand the heat. And then you can paint it like you are doing the heart. Now, do you remember what to do? Yeah. What? Um, there. Flour, salt, water, and oil. And oil, right. right. And you mix them all together, and what yeah. do you got? Dough clay. Dough clay. And there you are. Thank Continue you. to finish your heart.